What's up, what's up, what's up? PJ back with another video for y'all and today is gonna be a pretty short video. I do not have much plan for the day because what I did was install something on my car that it was so long overdue. Been a problem for me for a long time and so glad I got it done. Unfortunately, I did not show that uh, recording this specific thing. If you do uh, see the thumbnail and the title of the video, then you do know what it is. But I am here to talk to you about uh, what I said previously in like two videos ago whenever I was listing the things that I do not like about my Genesis and one thing happened to be the sloppy shifter I want to say that I finally figured out what the problem was and uh, like I said I do have a short shifter I had a transmission mount engine leash uh, new fluids and all that kind of stuff in here and I just did not do this one thing and after installing that one thing I do I do feel pretty confident in that it's gonna work and uh yeah just let me go ahead and explain to you what I did so I do have the torque solutions bushing kit for my shifter and uh, I went ahead and installed that and everything and the old bushings were so worn out they were horrible and the old bushings were horrible they were in terrible shape I could move them around with my fingertips which is so bad because you're not supposed to be able to do that with your fingers let alone with your hands at all because uh I mean you do want them to be softer just because uh from the factory you know it's for drivability purposes for me I don't want to do that I want to make this car as rigid as possible because I need those crisp shifts so basically if you don't know how a shifter works you have your shift knob at the top with the threads or whatever you may have a weight or something under that and then under that it should be the pivot point so whenever you move the shifter back the bottom of it you know it moves forward like a little lever type action thing so you you need a pivot point for that and so the arm on the shifter is the pivot point for it and uh the ball there's a ball under the weight and it goes inside this little cage looking thing and that goes inside of the shifter arm all greased up and stuff so there's no friction to make a long story short if that arm moves you don't have so much of a a solid pivot point so like if you shift backwards you may actually pull the whole arm if the bushings are bad and so that's what I was doing and the arm is probably about this wide and I was able to move it about this wide on each side so the arm could move like this when it was supposed to be stationary with the ball in the middle if you understand that then pat yourself on the back because I'm terrible at explaining things. I should have recorded this for y'all, but there are a bunch of other videos on YouTube for that, and I just needed to get it done because I had something to do yesterday. This will be my first time actually driving the car. Uh, well, I mean, I backed it out of the garage and stuff, but this will be my first time actually driving the car, and I want to see how I actually feel about this install. And if you look past my little shorts, then you can see my shifter right here, and I have a weighted shift knob on it, but this is one thing that I did want to show y'all. Like if I put it in first gear, you can see it still moves a little bit in gear. And that has something to do with the actual shifter linkage, I believe, that connects to the transmission. And to be honest, I don't think that there's anything I can do about that. If there is, let me know in the comment section below. But like I said, uh, as of now, the arm is very solid. So I shouldn't have any problems in getting into second gear. Because when I got under there, I looked at all my shifter and the uh, bolts for the shifter and everything. And everything looked solid. So I actually don't even think that it's the cheapness of this shifter. I mean, it's not build quality cheap, but you know, the pricing was cheap. And I feel pretty feel pretty confident now I'm about to go ahead and put y'all on my GoPro on my head mount and uh go see how this shifter feels whenever I drive it all right so now that y'all are on my GoPro I'm gonna put my seatbelt on and y'all probably heard my car warming up the whole time that uh I was talking on my camera so we good we got 86 miles to empty which is plenty because I'm just about to be Jenny from the block <laughs> in the Jenny from the block <laughs> I ain't lying sometimes whenever I'm not holding the camera in front of my face I be being corny I think I'm gonna keep my windows up this time because it gets kind of loud and rowdy and I ain't trying to be loud and rowdy for the camera today it's more so about this shifter of mine Even though I just pulled off the 
driveway, right off the bat, I do feel like it's a little more notchy, which is a good thing. It's what was advertised with this shift that I have anyway. So, I mean, that's that's a plus. It's always a plus to be more notchy, and it feels like it would be more precise from first to second pulls. And so, I'm about to go ahead and take this thing on a little back road and do some downshifts, some rev matches, and a couple pulls for y'all and see how that goes. And all under the same breath, I am over 130,000 miles now. So, I mean, you could expect a lot of things to be wearing and tearing on the car. And some things like the shifter bushings and other bushings that I have on the car just need to be replaced. this was 
a nice install it didn't take me too long it was more so tedious when doing it by yourself but luckily Kiara showed up so she could handle the stuff at the top while I handled what was, what was happening under the car they gonna hate me and I'm not trying to do a hard launch right now just because like I said with the diff bushings and the predicament that they're in because that is giving me that rear end torque steer so like when under load I believe my diff is like probably doing this so and that causes the axles to shift and it's just not a good thing so let me go ahead and roll onto this y'all doing oh y'all turning around all right cool but all in all this was definitely a thing that i'm glad i got done definitely a thing i went on ahead and purchased and definitely something that i'm just glad it took care of itself pretty much by doing the necessary maintenance that i should have had done like i said i'm over 130,000 miles now so this should have been done i don't know why i waited so long but that's pretty much all I have for today's video. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section below and let me know if you were planning on getting these for your car or if you were having some similar troubles like I was having. And uh, you know, I'ma point you in the right direction and fixing that. But as always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.